Hey everyone, um, it's a beautiful Friday afternoon. Um, it is my day off, and so um, trying to get the sun out of your eyes. But I am at Steel Creek Park here in Bristol, and uh, I'm just taking this time and uh, and uh, just this walk to uh, get some rest. And so I thought that's what I would uh, talk about today, and uh, and a vlog is uh, rest and how important rest is for your soul, uh, for your heart, for your physical well-being, and uh, how you grow spiritually as well. So I've just learned over time and uh, as I've been out of school now and working full time um, that rest is so important um, for what you do every single day. It doesn't matter what profession you're in, um, life can be so crazy and it can be uh, so busy and we can oftentimes forget to make sure that we're resting and that we're taking time for ourselves. Resting for me um, has not been Netflix, okay? Like on my Fridays, I would just really feel like not going out, um, not uh, doing anything, and I just wanted to stay inside and watch Netflix all day. Um, well, I was still receiving information, stuff was still entering into my brain, and uh, I was still trying to process information. And what I really needed uh, was just some time to rest. Maybe, maybe you're having a hard time with rest, and maybe you feel like even when you're supposed to be resting, you're not resting. Maybe you need to find some things to do that are kind of mindless. That Jesus is actually considered rest. And you're probably wondering, well, how could you be considered rest if he was a human? But, but remember, Jesus was God too. And so when you think about it, like God created everything. God is he's all knowing, he's all powerful. He, he understands uh, life, he understands um, how things work. Um, and when you have that knowledge, when you have that information, there is just a sense of rest uh, that you have. And I mean, I don't think God has ever worried his entire existence, right? <laughs> Since the beginning of time, God's never worried about a thing because he knows all things. He knows uh, where we're going. He knows where we're headed. And he says that you should come to me, those who are, are weary and heavy laden, those, those who are burdened by so many things things, those who are, are anxious, those who are overworked, those who are tired, you should come to me. And Jesus says that I will give you rest. And so maybe what your soul is looking for, what your body is looking for, is it's looking for a reunion with its creator. Maybe, maybe that's what you need in your life right now is a reunion with your creator. Maybe, maybe you are a follower of Jesus and you just haven't really sat down to make time for him in your daily schedule. And uh, you feel burdened, you feel overworked, and you feel like there's so many things that are pushing on you and pressing on you. Well, my advice to you is maybe you need to go and you need to spend time with God. Whether that's being in the scripture or whether it's coming out and walking around and just talking to God. Did you know that you can talk to God and that God actually listens to you? Psalm 116.2 says that he bends down to hear our prayers. Like that is, that is incredible, right? That is amazing that we have a God that is so wonderful, that is so amazing, that, that loves us so much that he's willing to bend down to hear our prayer and to listen to what it is that is troubling us. And um, maybe that's what you need to do. Maybe that's what you need to create margin for in your life. And maybe, maybe you're watching this and you're not a Christ follower, right? You would, you would say that you don't have this relationship uh, with Christ. But, but maybe you feel this weight. You feel this, this burden um, that you feel like you have to carry. And maybe you even feel like you have to do these sorts of things in order to be 
noticed by God. We no longer, we no longer have to strain and to stress and to push ourselves beyond, uh, beyond our limits in order to be noticed by God because of who Jesus is. We can all be made right in His eyes because of Christ's sacrifice. And um, that's something that should be incredibly encouraging. Just something that I hope gives you rest during this season and during this time of your life. So don't be overworked, friends. Um, don't be overstressed, man. Come outside. It's fall, right? I, I love the fall. I love putting on a flannel and some blue jeans and some boots and just going outside and walking around and feeling the cool air. Um, if it could stay like that year round, that would be heaven. But hey, I love you guys. And I hope that this has been encouraging and helpful to you all. Um, leave any comments, questions down below. That'd be sweet. And uh, until next time, peace.